Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. So I just recently did my makeup declutter video. If you didn't go see that, it's a shorter version. This one is much longer because I go over each product, almost each product, and explain why I like it or why I don't. And today we're doing hair products, skincare, sunscreen, I think there's a few perfumes and body care items as well. Keep in mind, I am an esthetician and I do online content creation, so I have an excessive amount of products. But I don't declutter to become a minimalist, that's not what I'm trying to do. I just don't want to keep things that are expired, that I don't like, that I don't use anymore, especially with skincare, I'm really, really picky about ingredients, so I don't want to keep anything with bad ingredients that I wouldn't want to use for myself. And please don't ask for my used products, I will not send them to you. I do disinfect things best I can and give them away to friends and family unless they are expired. And if you're like, Maddie, but you say it's not good, why do you give it to other people? Because a lot of other people don't care about ingredients like I do and they would be happy to have the product and I'm happy to give it to them. Let me know if you liked this shorter makeup declutter or this longer makeup declutter better so I can do it best next time. Enjoy! Okay, so these are all of my styling hair products. I barely know how to do my own hair, so I don't know why I have this many. It's a little excessive, so let's try to pare it down. So first, in all these small little things, I love the It's a 10. I need to use this little bit up. I have like a oil mist. I'm gonna keep this for now for dry ends. I do really like IGK products, so I want to give this leave-in conditioner another try. This Nioxin sample is supposed to be like for scalp treatment. It's only one use, so I just need to use this and then get rid of it. So stay tuned for my Instagram story. I'll probably post about how this worked for me. An itty bitty little dry shampoo sample that probably has like one or two uses. I'm just going to use this up. I have a mini hairspray for travel. I guess I'll just keep this. And then also a mini dry shampoo for travel. I do really love Batiste. Olaplex is absolutely amazing, so I'm definitely keeping everything. But nobody told me you shouldn't use Olaplex every day or all the time because it ends up putting too much protein in your hair, which ends up messing up your hair. So I've scaled back a ton on using this and it has helped a lot. So it's good at first, but not for super long term, all the time use. From them, my hair and scalp are really, really weird. My scalp gets dandruffy but the back of my hair like towards my scalp is really oily it's a mess this Mizani scalp care works really well for my dandruff area so I'm definitely keeping that I am finally going to part with the bumble and bumble surf spray I got this when I worked at Ulta I think I used it a couple of times and hated it I just don't think sea salt sprays are for me so I'm gonna get rid of this and I do like some dry bar products I like the dry conditioner so I'm gonna hold on to that so I remember to actually use these up I'm just gonna keep them on my counter these little oil type products, I guess, or smaller bottles. This is a loose dry shampoo. It's kind of a mess. It's not bad, it's just kind of a mess and I don't use it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Again, I love my Olaplex so much, definitely keeping that. I'm also gonna keep this little Verb Ghost Oil. I've heard really good things about it. I don't know why I haven't tried it. And I'm gonna keep the Way Wave Spray. Is it Way? I think that's how you pronounce it. I've only tried this like once. I wanna try it more and see what I really think of it because I've heard really good things. But I am going to get rid of this Redken Diamond Oil. This was nothing special and it's pretty old so I'm going to throw this out. Alright, now onto some larger products. My favorite ever hairspray. It's like $5. I've been using it since middle school. Definitely keeping this Tresemme. I also really like IGK. This is a really nice dry shampoo but I think I prefer the matcha one. I am going to keep this and use it up though. And I also love Batiste. This is a tried and true. I have really been liking the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. This is similar to It's a 10, but cheaper. And I use this every time before I blow dry my hair. This is my second bottle, so I'm definitely keeping that. I have the Bedhead Small Talk. This is supposed to be like a, it says Thickifier, Energizer, and Stylizer. It's basically a volumizing blow dry cream and I always blow dry my hair. So I just need to use this some more and decide if this is something for me to keep or get rid of. So I need to keep an eye on this, but I'm going to keep it for now. A couple dry bar products. Sorry for the loud noises and for the weird bathroom lighting. This is Southern Bell Volume Boosting Root Lifter. I got this when I worked at Ulta. I only used it a couple times and didn't really notice much of a difference and it has a very strong perfumey smell. A lot of dry bar stuff does um, and I just, I don't ever reach for this so I'm going to get rid of it. I do really like triple sec though. It's 
kind of like a volumizer. It's not dry shampoo. I don't explain it. I like this and honestly there's probably less than half left so I'm gonna use this up fairly soon. I just keep forgetting I have it. I'm also gonna keep this waterless dry shampoo foam. I recently got this and I've only used it a couple times so I want to try this some more because I like the concept of a dry shampoo foam. And these are a few different Pureology products I got on super clearance at Ulta. When I worked there, Pureology would randomly go on this like glitch clearance where it was like three bucks. It was very, very strange. So these are some things I got during that. The um, Color Stylist Anti-Split Blow Dry Spray. This is a blow dry cream and it has good reviews, but the ingredients just look terrible. And I'm not really that versed on hair care ingredients like I am skincare ingredients, but this just doesn't seem good. It has a lot of paraffin wax in it, which I've heard is really bad to use in your hair products. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let this go. I've also had it for a little bit and I really never used it much. So I'm just gonna let this go. You can even see the tag still in this one, $3.79. This is the Hydrate Air Dry Cream. I never let my hair air dry because it takes so long. So I just, there's no point in me keeping this. I'm gonna give this to a friend who does air dry her hair. So hopefully she'll get some good use out of it. And last product is the Vinegar Hair Rinse. Again, another clearance item. I just started trying this the other day. I'll probably be able to finish it up before we move and I can let you guys know what I think of it on my Instagram story. So we'll see about this. Just gonna try to at least use it up before we move so it doesn't just keep sitting in here. I have some hairbrushes back here. This one I've never used, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then there are some little sample packet things back here. I have two Kerastase samples. This is a fancy brand. I just don't see myself using these. The 8 Hour Magic Night Serum and the Elixir Mask thing. I'm just not gonna use those, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I am gonna keep this Shea Moisture Nourish and Silken Treatment Mask. I remember buying this. This is like one use, I just need to use it. I'm gonna get rid of this Palmer's Coconut Oil Hair Mask. I've heard coconut oil is really bad for this hair, so um, we're gonna get rid of that. And then this is a lightener product, and I don't think I'm gonna try to lighten my hair again, so myself. So I'm going to just give this to somebody else. Getting rid of three, four, five, six actual products, a hairbrush, and four sample packets. So that's definitely a lot better than it was. Okay, this is the chaos that is my skincare drawer. It is very full. There are many layers. It stresses me out. It's definitely too heavy to be in here. This is my everyday skincare and stuff that I truly use the most on a daily basis. I'm definitely gonna have extra skincare. I talk about skincare, I'm an esthetician. I try a lot of stuff, but this has become excessive. It's even overflowed into this drawer where I have sunscreen and lotion I need to go through, some new skincare I got sent, some random tools and stuff like that, and backups. Honestly, this all stresses me out. So, oh goodness. Let's just start going through things. I did just get some stuff from Typology. I haven't tried it yet, but that's what's in the bottom drawer. And then they sent me these reusable cotton pads. These are another set of reusable cotton pads someone gave me. This used to be organized, I swear, but yikes. So I have some stuff that Pharmacy sent me. I have been trying out and I have been liking them. So I'm definitely gonna keep this stuff for now. There's another spatula that goes there. More Pharmacy stuff. Like that so far, we're gonna keep it. Ah, this is stressful. Um, some makeup removing, like cleansing balms. I like this, but it has microplastic in it. So I'm very back and forth, but I already have it. So I wanna use it up. So we'll keep this glow recipe one for now. The Avera Glow Makeup Remover, I do like. I'm keeping that. I have some different cleansing oils, which I don't typically do because I'm oily skinned, but I love Mad Hippie and Coco Kind, so I am gonna keep those, at least for now. I don't even know what to pick up. I use this all the time, just oil-free eye makeup remover. I love Honest Beauty. I've been trying this a bit, the Beauty Sleep Resurfacing Serum, and I'm liking it, so I'm gonna keep that. I got this on super clearance at Ulta, the Naturally G4U Be Well Mask. I don't think I've tried this yet. I'm gonna keep this, we'll see how it goes. I really love using CBD and skincare, so I'll keep this for now. 
See, I don't know about this one. I got this in a boxy charm. The Yensa Pumpkin Turmeric Mask. It's like a scrub and an enzyme mask. Just don't know how I feel about it. I'll have to look up the ingredients on that one again. Unsure. Naturopathica, I do like. This is a really thick moisturizer. Um, it's nice when I want a thicker moisturizer. I just typically don't use something this thick. I think I'm going to keep it for now because it is a really nice line. I have some Osea Malibu stuff. This Atmosphere and Protection Cream. I haven't used it enough. I need to try this one more. Also from them, I do have the... What is this called? Their Hyaluronic C Serum. This is nice as well. It's just a little pricey. They sent me these to try out. I'm going to keep this. What else do we have over here? Oh, the Ordinary Niacinamide. This isn't bad. I like it, but I prefer the Honest one. I am going to hold on to this one. Um, I haven't even used half of it. I'm going to try to hold on to this one and use it more. Here's some more Avera Glow. I do like the Perfectionist Serum. This has some CBD in it. This is more of like a CBD oil in my opinion. I'm going to keep that. And here's another Avera Glow Flawless, Flawless Nourishment Cream. This is a weird kind of like creamy oil. It's very interesting. So I'm going to keep that. It's a different type of consistency. What are you? The Ordinary Ascorbic Acid 8% plus Alpha Arbutin 2%. This is one of the vitamin C's from The Ordinary that I would definitely recommend. It is more of an oil-based vitamin C, which isn't my favorite consistency, but I like the ingredients of this one. I'm going to keep this for now. Maybe I'll give it to a friend who would like to try it. Uh, I'm conflicted on this Coats moisturizer. I do like Coats because they're mineral SPF. When it actually has ingredients to treat and moisturize the face, I don't think I was the biggest fan of the ingredients. This is another one I need to look up again. Derma Doctor Physical Chemistry scrub. I don't really recommend scrubs to the face. Again, let me look this one up. I do like the Coco Kind Texture Smoothing Cream. I just need to use this product up. Not that I dislike it. I just need to stop using stuff halfway and then not using it. The Honest Beauty Calm and Go Face Mist. This is really nice. It just barely missed anything onto your face. It's so incredibly light, but I'm going to keep it because I do like it. I think I'm finally going to let this go. This is the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. I got this when I worked at Ulta, so it's a bit old. I've used quite a bit of it. It felt nice. It's supposed to calm redness, so I would use it when my face was feeling extra irritated, but it doesn't have the best ingredients, so I'm going to finally just get, throw this away because it's kind of old anyways. It needs to go. The Derma Doctor Kakadu C Peel Pads. These are way just a mess. They have so much alcohol, drying and stripping products in it. It's just really going to overstrip the skin. These are a whole bunch of samples someone gave me, um, so I'm going to get rid of those. The Naturopathica Oat Cleansing Facial Polish. I don't know how I feel about this like weird gentle scrub. I might just use this up on the body. I'll keep it for now. This is the Aura Cassia. I'm not sure how to say that. Oil moisturizer. I mean, it's fine. It's just a basic like body and face oil. I'm just not going to use it. So I'm going to pass this on. And then this is their same brand, their Rose Spray. And I would keep this except for the fact that it has alcohol in it, just like regu regular rubbing alcohol, which I don't like to use in my Rose Mist. So I'm going to pass that along as well. I have a Kate Summerfill Exfolicate. I don't remember what's in this. I need to look this one up as well. Checks and Balances from Origins I used to like. I remember this being a bit drying. Uh, I can't decide if I want to just use this one up or if I should pass this along. So, unsure of this one as well. I feel like I'm not doing very good. Oh, I do really like the Coco Kind Vitamin C. I'm going to keep that. Um, Derma Doctor Lucky Bamboo Essence Spray. I did not like this. and I don't like the ingredients for it either. So, I'm going to pass that on. There's some more Derma Doctor back here. The Wrinkle Revenge Cleanser and the Kakadu C Cleanser, which I was using for a while. I don't think these were that bad of ingredients or they were actually decent. I'm gonna have to look these up as well and we'll pop back in for some of this stuff. What else is in here? Naturopathica Vitamin C15 Wrinkle Repair Serum. I wanna try this. I do wanna preface that some of this stuff was sent to me for review because I do content creation. Some of these things were part of a sponsored video on TikTok, like Avera Glow was part of a sponsored video, for example. So, 
just letting you know, some of this was sent to me for review. Some of this stuff is from when I worked at Ulta a while back that I got as gratis for working there. But of course, always 100% honest opinions here. I have the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser, which is more of a makeup remover, not an actual face cleanser. Don't know how I feel about this one. It's got a lot of microplastics. Let me look it up again and decide if I want to use that more. What is this? Oh, Ordinary Squalane. This is a really nice face oil. I'm gonna keep this. In fact, my boyfriend probably should start using this. And then I also have the Ordinary, the famous AHA BHA peel. I do like this. Be very gentle with this. It's very, very, very strong. We have some COSRX stuff in here. Um, they had sent me these. The vitamin C serum has niacinamide in it, and niacinamide and vitamin C together can be irritating, and it's super irritating to my skin. Like, it burns, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then the vitamin E serum from COSRX. I haven't really tried a vitamin E serum, I don't think, so I'm gonna keep this and try that out. I really like Coco Kind face masks, so I have the sea kale one and the chlorophyll one, keeping those. We have some other face masks in here. Clarity RX Rehab, this is a really nice detox mask. And the big boy. The Ancient Healing Clay or Aztec Clay Mask, whatever. I do like this. It's not great if you have super sensitive or super dry skin. It's a detox mask. And you want to mix this with water, not apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to keep this. I do like it. It's super cheap. The Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moor Mud Mask. I have liked this. This is one of the one of the few products from Peter Thomas Roth that I do like. But this is kind of old. I'm not sure if I should still keep this. Mm, let me think about it. This is from Truly Organic. They have some really good stuff. This is the Matcha Scrub Whipped Face Scrub. This is way, way, way too abrasive for the face. Like, way too abrasive for the face. Um, I might try to use this up on my body. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my shower and try to get some more use out of this for my body, but definitely not for the face. Oh, I totally forgot I had this. <laughs> Crabtree and Evelyn sent me this to try. The Gardener's Face mask. This is like a loose powder mask. I'm gonna keep this one. These are the Clarity RX Pick Me Up Peel Pads. They do have alcohol denit in it, which is a stripping alcohol. Let me look up the percentage of the different peeling acids in this. Let me see if I want to keep these. I'm unsure. Let me look into it some more. And then I have the Exuviance Detox Mask. I don't think this was that bad. That's why I've kept it, but I've had this for so long. Is this expired? I don't even know. I need to look this up as well. Ooh, many things to look up. Okay, I have returned. I'm going to go ahead and pass along the Clarity RX Pick Me Up pads. I just don't think they're gonna be very effective and I don't like how much stripping alcohol is in them. I'm gonna keep the Yensa Pumpkin Turmeric Mask. I think I'm gonna use this for the body though. I think that'll be really nice on the body. It might be a little bit too much for some people on the face. Um, maybe I'll try it on the face again, but I think this will be really nice for the body. I am going to keep the Origins Checks and Balances Cleanser, at least for now. This one's brand new, so at least I have a backup everyday cleanser if I try it and I hate it, or I might just end up passing along later. We'll see. This I'm a little conflicted about, the Coats Face Moisturizer. I'm going to try this again. We'll see. I mm, It has some microplastics and like dimethicone, which might be too much in a moisturizer, so we'll see. I'm going to try this again. We'll see how it goes. Also with the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser, I'm conflicted. I've already paid for it and it's got a bunch of microplastics that I prefer not to use. It also says it's only good for six months and I've definitely had this more than six months. So maybe I'll give it a go again and then toss it because it's getting kind of old. The Kate Somerville Exfoliate, I'm going to get rid of. This is a little mini sample of the exploiting treatment. It's not great ingredients and I'm just not gonna use it. Plus since it's brand new, I might as well just pass it along to someone who would love to use it. Some people do not care about ingredients like I do and that is totally fine if that's their choice. I'm gonna get rid of all these Derma Doctor products. The Wrinkle Revenge Cleanser isn't too bad, but it's brand new and I'm just not gonna use it. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. The Kakadu C Cleanser I thought was good. Maybe they changed the formula, but I don't like the ingredients in this any longer. And then the Derma Doctor Physical Chemistry, it's just a scrub, but I don't really like face scrubs and I don't really like the ingredients in this either, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm also going to get rid of the Exuvian's Detox Mud Mask. I've had this for a while. It just smells really perfumey, so I'm gonna toss that. 
I'm also going to toss the Peter Thomas Roth, here it is, Irish Moor Mud Mask. This is a little bit old, but I also looked up the ingredients and they're not great. I don't know. I don't know. I thought I looked them up and they were fine, but not super impressed. I'm going to pass this, or not pass this along, pass it to the trash. It's old and it's not great, so I'm going to throw that away. Okay, what's here on the side? That's just info about the vitamin E serum. An Ulta Beauty lip mask. Well, that doesn't look like it'll be effective at all. I think I'll just give that away. I have some peel pads here from Exuviance. Ooh, I don't know about the ingredients to this either. Honestly, probably not. These are probably not gonna be good, but I'm going to double check just to be sure. What is this? A Skin Food Perfect Nose Kit. Um, it's like a three-step thing. I've had this for a while and I never used it. Does not have good ingredients. And pore strips are terrible for your face. But let's see, I don't know. I don't know if this is really a pore strip or not. I'm very confused by this product. I'm gonna have to look this up. I have a Tony Moly Rosemary Sheet Mask. This is probably not great, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Lancome Genifique Sheet Mask, also do not like that. I am, I can't believe I still haven't used this. The Body Slap It Booty Mask. This is hilarious. It's not like it's some fantastic ingredients, but I definitely wanna try it, so I'm gonna keep that. And this is from IPO Cosmetics. It's like a little four step, good for travel. You get cleanser, moisturizer, eye cream, and this is a sheet mask. Not great ingredients. There's, it's just kind of a waste of my time, so I'm not going to keep this. There's a million little samples crammed into this thing. I have like a face mask brush. Pro tip, use your flat foundation brushes for face masks, fantastic. I have some Indie Lee little minis I do really like. I use those when I've traveled, so I'm keeping those. This is the Lano brand. This is the All Over Skin Salve. I'm gonna keep that, that's fairly new. I also have their Lano Lips lip scrub, keep that. I have a couple of lip scrubs from Naturopathica. Oh no, wait, one's a lip butter, one's a lip scrub. So I'll keep these, I need to try them some more. I haven't really tried them much. There's a bunch of different spatulas in here. Just keep them when they come with stuff. This is the Drunk Elephant little mini moisturizer. Um, very much not impressed with this. Not a fan, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I have a ton of Mad Hippie samples I've gotten when they've sent me some stuff. I'm gonna keep all these. I should probably share them with some people because I have too many, but love Mad Hippie. Ooh, we got some Derma Doctor stuff back here. Derma Doctor Eye Balm, Water Gel, DD Eye Cream. Oh, I did like that. Wrinkle Revenge. I'm probably gonna get rid of most of these. The DDI, the morning one with SPF 30, I might keep if the ingredients are good, but I need to look into those. I have these little face oil samples from Julep uh, Booster Radiance. It's good, I'm just not gonna use these, so give those to somebody else. The Indie Lee eye cream I do want to try. This Kapari coconut. This is literally just coconut oil. Give that to someone else who would like to use it. What do we got in here? This is a lip plumper that I have been meaning to try forever and I haven't yet. So I'm going to keep that. I have the Dermalogica Daily Super Foliant. This is like a powder scrub. Eh, I don't like it. I'm going to get rid of it. We have a little lip scrub. Samples from Bite and L'Occitane. I'm just gonna use these up. A little Bobbi Brown cleansing oil. Let me look up the ingredients in this one. Um, I used to use this. I used to love this Peter Thomas Roth Firmex peeling gel till I realized it's a scam. It's not actually peeling up any of your dead skin. Um, and doesn't have good ingredients, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I have a little MAC cleanse off oil I need to look up the ingredients on as well. I do like the CEO Glow Oil from Sunday Riley. Keep that little sample. Okay, I really don't like Clinique, but this is a makeup removing balm. I might keep this just to use it up. Unsure, let me double check. Some old little samples, figure out what those are. Um, this Pure Cloud Cream, not gonna use it. Gonna get rid of that. Some of this stuff is super old. The Naturopathica Arnica Gel, I'm gonna keep 
I have this Aura's Amazing Herbal All Purpose Salve I really like. So I do not like Vaseline type stuff, like, or Aquaphor. This kind of stuff is much better. It's much more about, it's much better for the environment and for your body. So I prefer this kind of stuff. Some of this stuff is just super old, like this old Vaseline from who knows when. I'm gonna get rid of that. This Aquaphor, I think I had this for a tattoo, but this expired years ago, so we're finally just gonna get rid of these. I'd rather use better things anyways. I have like this Aquaphor body spray, never used. Um, this first aid ointment and my itch cream, I'm gonna keep those. This is a tattoo salve I'm gonna keep. Another Aquaphor spray I don't need. This little soap bar smells so good. I just like the smell, I'm keeping it, judge me, I don't care. This is garbage. I got this from Depil Brazil when I got waxed. It is their ingrown hair serum. It has terrible ingredients. I really don't know why I bought it. I think I was just like nervous and I was like, sure, I'll take it. And it, it doesn't work. It's stupid. I'm so irritated by this. I'm getting rid of this. I have body glitter, unicorn snot, and mermaid gold. You know, what every 25 year old has. That looks a little dried out. I think it's time for these to finally go. And then there's some junk back here. I have some eye patches from Patchology in South Maine. I need to look up the ingredients. Also, Skin Iceland. Let me double check on these and we will be back. Okay, I went through some more stuff. These Exuviance peel pads I am going to get rid of, but I was shocked that they actually have mandelic acid in them, which is hard to find. It's so good for skin and clogged pores. I love it. But the other ingredients in this I don't like, so I'm not going to keep that. But I was surprised by that ingredient. I am going to keep the Skin Iceland eye gels. I don't think that these are, like, amazing. But I want to keep some kind of under eye things on hand. I'd like to try these again. So I'm going to keep those. But I am going to get rid of the South Main eye gels. I was about to keep these. They actually have decent ingredients. I think these came in a boxy charm. I did like these, so I'm kind of sad because these are expired and they look very dried out. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those out. That's sad. I've never used these. These are the Patchology Current Mood Mood Patch Tea Infused Eye Gel Trio things. These just don't have good ingredients. They're not going to be good near my eye area. They're not going to be good for my skin. I'm just going to give these away. I am actually going to keep from all the Derma Doctor samples the DD Eye Cream, the Morning Eye Cream with SPF 30. Not bad ingredients, and I actually liked this when I tried it before. It has like a brightening tint to it, and it's hard to find a morning eye cream with SPF. So I'm going to keep these little packets. I also got to keep the Unicorn Snot. It's just fun, and it's actually not dried out, so I'm keeping that. I am going to use up this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I definitely won't repurchase, but it's not as bad as I thought. I already have it, so I might as well use it up. And then I'm going to pass on this egg white nose strip. This is just, this is not going to be good for my skin at all. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to pass on the Bobbi Brown cleansing oil because I don't like the ingredients. The MAC cleansing oil or cleanse off oil, this is just one little trial of it. So I'm going to just use this to see what it feels like. And yeah, so I'm going to keep that. I think that is all for this drawer. All right, let me reorganize and put everything back. Before I actually put everything back in the other drawer, let's go through this bottom drawer and see what I can condense down into one drawer. So we have lots of sunscreens here. Like I said, these are new products I've gotten sent, some backup products, a couple body sprays, some old body lotion. There's some tools and stuff back here. This is also chaotic and I'm stressed out about it. Let me go ahead and take out the new stuff because that's all stuff I definitely am not getting rid of because I'm going to try. This typology packaging is really pretty. So stay tuned and I will update you guys on that stuff. I have a backup of the Honest Beauty Gentle Gel Cleanser. I do like this. It's not my all-time favorite, but I like it and my boyfriend's using it, so I'm definitely going to keep this. It'll be handy to have. I have a backup of my absolute favorite Mad Hippie Face Cream. That's not going anywhere. I've had these for a while and I've never used them. Gem Gentle Steam Eye Masks. This is a very interesting concept. I don't know why I haven't tried these. This seems really relaxing. I need to use these. Keeping those. I also have a bunch of products from Banish that they sent me, and I haven't really tried these yet. Um, I need to double check the ingredients on these. I've tried them a little bit, but really not much. So I'm going to look all these up again because I already forgot. Well, I mean, it's been months. I have a powder cleanser from Aura's Amazing Herbal. 
This is strange, but interesting. I want to try this again, so I'm going to keep it for now, but I don't know if I'll keep it for, you know, end up loving it and want to keep it for longer. I have the Peach and Lily Power Calm Cleanser. This came in a boxy charm. My only gripe with this is I think it has a microplastic in it. Yeah, it has a microplastic, so it's not the worst. I think I'll keep this or I'll put it in our guest bathroom in our new house so that there's a cleanser in there because it's definitely not the worst. So I'll hold on to it since I already have it. Hydrocolloid bandages I'm keeping. I cut those into little squares. This is part of the banished stuff. This is actually a microneedling stamper, which I'm not a fan of. I don't know. I was thinking about trying it on my legs just to see what happens. I don't want to do it on my face because I'm worried about long-term damage, but since I have it, I might keep it for science purposes. Some of these lotions back here are super, super old, so they need to go. So this is the Completely Bare Body Moisturizer and Hair Inhibitor. I bought this many years ago. I actually like it. It works nice. Um, maybe it inhibits hair a little bit. I definitely didn't use it consistently enough to know. But this is a nice body moisturizer for when you get out of the shower. But it's super, 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 super old. I'm talking like at least four years, so I'm going to get rid of this. Here's another super old one. I do not shop at Bath & Body Works anymore. This is the Cooling Gel Lotion. It does smell nice. It feels cool, literally, but their stuff is just so cheap and it's not good for your skin and this is super old as well. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Just an excuse to go buy a good body moisturizer. Downy Wrinkle Releaser. Why is this in here? This is fun, but that's not skincare or anything. Ignore my band-aids and tools back here. That's just, you know, tweezers and such. I have this Shea Moisture fragrance-free body lotion, but <coughs> this smells horrible. I don't know if it's because it's fragrance-free and I'm smelling like way too natural of scents in here or if it's because maybe it got old. It smells horrible. I'm not going to use this. This has to go. I did really like this Beauty Without Cruelty fragrance-free lotion. I used to use this for my tattoos, but this one's super old. There's not much left anyways. Honestly, the ingredients in this probably aren't great, but I'm going to keep it. This is the Origins Ginger Souffle Body Cream. This smell is so incredibly nostalgic to me. I absolutely love the ginger scented stuff, so I can't even get rid of this. I'm literally keeping it for the scent. So, yeah. Sorry, not sorry. I love it. Y'all, I don't even know how old this is. This is the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy line, the sensual one. It's called Black Current Vanilla. I'm obsessed with this scent. I don't know what it is about this. It smells so good. I don't even use this. I just smell it. Like, the product's not great, but the scent is amazing. If you guys know a black currant vanilla like this that smells like this, please let me know because I need to keep this till I can find a replacement so I can remember the scent. I just love this smell so much. What do we have over here? Oh! Um, more Aura's Amazing Herbal. This is a little body butter. This is nice. I'm keeping that. Oh, I forgot I had this. The Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. This is fun. I did like this. I need to just use this up. I'm going to put this like in my top drawer so I remember to put this on. But I did like this. I don't remember what the ingredients are though. You know, they're really not too bad. I'm definitely going to keep that. I need to use that up. What else do we have up here? A couple body mists. Um, Soak and Glory Orangeasm. There's really not much left in this. I just need to use that up. One thing I do love from Bath & Body Works, well... The body mist isn't great quality, but I love the scent. Dark Kiss. This is old. I love it. It's nostalgic. I'm keeping this body mist, even though it lasts for like an hour. There's also perfumes and stuff in here, like this super old school Gilly Hicks Coral Nectar I used to love. And now not so much. Now to me, this just smells very like 10th grade Maddie, and I just don't think I'm going to wear it anymore, so I think it's finally time to let it go, even though it is a beautiful bottle. And I was obsessed with it and they discontinued it. I was like crushed. I think it's time to let it go. I hate that. You know, it's so hard to let stuff go because you loved it for so long, but now it's just not you. You still want to keep it, but I can't. It's like, it's heavy. It's glass. It's going to be a pain to move. So I need to finally let this go. So we're memorializing it here on video. <laughs> Some other perfumes I'm definitely keeping. Um, these used to be up on my bathroom counter, but I moved some down. I do have two on my bathroom counter I love. Marc Jacobs Cucumber and a new Kate Spade one I got. Um, it's the orange one. It was on clearance. I love it. Elizabeth and James Nirvana White I'm going to keep. This is definitely more of like a more adult nighttime scent, 
Um, it's not always my cup of tea, but I already have it, so I'm not going to get rid of it. I do have Victoria by Victoria's Secret. Again, I'm wondering if this is a little too high school matty, but I think I'm going to keep this one. I think this one is okay. I have some little mini perfumes and stuff here. I'm not even going to go through those. Those are fine. They can stay. This is from Osea Malibu. This is the Vagus Nerve Oil. I probably said that wrong. It's like a calming essential oil kind of thing. It's not really skincare. This is really interesting that they sent me this, and I definitely need to try it more, so I'm keeping that. And I think the rest of the stuff down here is sunscreen, and some of this is expired, so it just needs to go. I really like the Sun Bum Mineral in the Squeezy Tube. This worked pretty well for me. Now, the spray one didn't work as effectively, but these are not old, so I am going to keep them to use them up. What else we got? I have these Babo Botanicals. They sent me these recently to try. I'm going to keep these. Let me move these over here. I'm going to keep these Coats ones, the Flawless Complexion, and the Sensitive one. I'm moving to Florida, so sunscreen is very, very necessary, but some of these just need to go. I will say, so if you watch me, you know that I prefer mineral sunscreen over chemical sunscreen. It's just better for you and for the environment. But if you don't care about that, which please look it up before you decide you don't care about that, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost is not a bad sunscreen as far as like texture and feel and wear goes. It is just a nice consistency, but this is a chemical sunscreen and it did expire a little over a year ago. It's almost gone anyways, so this needs to go because basically expired sunscreen means that it's going to be less effective than it was before or completely ineffective. So I need super effective. Needs to go. Same with this one. I believe it is quite expired. Yeah, a year and a half old. Unfortunate that I didn't use this up. These always used to come in subscription boxes. I think, is it Pure Lease or Pure Lisi? This is the Blue Lotus. This was actually a moisturizer with SPF 30. Not sure why I kept it in here, but it expired a year and a half ago, so it needs to go. I have this little Drunk Elephant Mini. This also expired a year and a half ago. That would have been nice for my purse, so that's sad. I have an Ulta Beauty sunscreen stick. When do you expire? This expired a year and a half ago. Wow, everything expired summer 2019. These are a couple of Benefit products. So the Dream Screen is a really nice, like, thin... Here, it's a very thin sunscreen. This is SPF 45. I did like it, but this is probably expired. I don't think it actually says. I'm going to double check, but this probably needs to be thrown away. And then their triple performing facial emulsion is like a daytime moisturizer with SPF. And I'm pretty sure this is expired as well, but it does not say. So I will have to look this one up. This little tiny perfume was my grandmother's and I just keep it for pretty purposes. Little fun fact. Okay, why, why? This has like two uses. I've got to use up these perfumes. Such a waste. Okay, last two. We have this Neutrogena body mist. Probably expired. Oh wait, <gasps> no, it actually expires this month. I think that means I can actually get some use out of it. It might not be as strong, but I don't wanna waste, so I'm gonna keep that. And then Neutrogena wet skin, again, it's chemicals, which I'm not a fan, but this really does stick to wet skin. This has saved me from getting sunburns. This is really, really strange how it works. So I did like the Neutrogena wet skin, but I'm pretty sure this is expired. Ooh, extra expired. This is two and a half years old. My bad. Okay, that needs to go. Now, let me start to put things back. All right, there is the drawer. It all fits comfortably. There's wiggle room. I can see everything. It's sort of organized. I have like makeup removers, moisturizers, some backups. My face masks are back here. These are kind of oils and serums and more treatment products. These are just kind of miscellaneous up here. And then still some like healing products like Arnica gel and salve are back there. And then I'm just gonna lay my little makeup removing stuff or cotton rounds here on top. And there is this drawer, so much better, so much cleaner. 
And then here is the bottom drawer. So I have some perfumes, sunscreen, it all fits. There's a couple of lotions and body mists, some skincare from Typology and Banish I need to try, tools back there, a couple lotions, and that steam eye mask got back there as well. And now it all fits all nicely. And here is the final product. These are all the things that I'm getting rid of. I am super proud of myself. I think I did a really good job. Unfortunately, some of the products are just expired and they need to go. I really want to make an effort to use up my products before buying something new or accepting a whole bunch of PR because it's just so wasteful and I hate it. Yes, it's part of my job and I love this and I want to try new stuff, but I really, this, this is just wasteful. Whether it's expired or it's just bad, I just don't want to be so wasteful. So some of these things unfortunately do have to be thrown away. I do recycle as much as I can and if I can pass it on to somebody else, I will. But that's it for my skincare, body products, sunscreen, and hair care. I hope you enjoyed this declutter. Be sure to check out my declutter playlist, which is linked down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I am most active there. It is at Maddie Hearts. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so maybe you'll be notified next time I upload a video. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope this inspired you to declutter as well. Bye, guys.